not even sure like I'm not even sure what book I want to talk about because I have so many and so many and I've been reading so much and my head already hurts but it'll be fine we're gonna get through this together I promise I have decided the first book back Alright. <clears throat> hey guys it's time welcome back to book it i know it's been so so long um like i said in the intro i was currently trying to decide which book so i have all of those up there have been read and annotated and everything and i currently am reading so much more um i have all this on this shelf i also have a pile over here in the corner of my office that you can't even like see um but yeah so let me fix this it's been so long okay so we are going to start off with a book that like I was kind of late to the game to get, you know, um, which is The Silent Patient. Okay, so I was so late to reading this. Like, literally, the trend has already came and gone, right? There's also barely any annotations. Not because I didn't love the book, but because I, like, didn't do it while I was reading. Like, I was so caught up in just reading the actual story that I forgot to, like, actually annotate. So, um, this book was not what I was expected, and I'm going to just start off by saying I'm spoiling this book. So, like, if you haven't read it, or you want to read it, or you're currently reading it, or you, whatever, don't watch this, because I'm going to spoil this book hardcore, okay? All right, let's dive right in. So, the story follows a psychotherapist that has a particular, like, interest in a certain patient that was found guilty of murdering her husband, um, and then, like, remained silent for years, right? So we see that like other doctors have like tried to like come to her um like the asylum that she's in like talk to her and like you know get her to open up and um she just doesn't do that but he finds out that it was like she was heavily medicated the entire time because if she's not heavily medicated she becomes violent and like irrational and tries to kill everybody um right so when he comes to meet him, her her name's theo his name's theo and her name's alicia wait yes yes um when he comes to meet her she's like really standoffish like she doesn't talk to him she doesn't say anything she like stares at him but like doesn't like wants nothing to do with him basically um and then he like works like with all these different people and he tries to like go outside to like you know contact like her brother-in-law and like anybody that like had anything to do like with her because he wants her to try to open up to him um and it was like kind of like his pet project like he like had his intentions um i think it was wrong for him to do for his personal gain but that's like beside the point um so we see that the institution basically is going to be closed because like lack of patients lack of funds all that other stuff so he doesn't have like a big significant time and throughout this entire experience that he's like lowering her medication she becomes like irrational and violent and like tries to like hurt other people he ends up getting in trouble with like the head doctor that's like hey bro you gotta stop like we hired you for this position but like you're you're dropping the ball like you're not helping um so we start learning more about her backstory and why she would have wanted to kill her husband and you know all this other stuff and then we also like meet like Theo and his wife and you know we see like how he's married and ha didn't have a great childhood but he settled down um and then we also learn that Theo's wife is like having an affair with another man and like he finds out he doesn't want to confront her he like waits and like takes his time or whatever. So as the book goes on, we learn that uh, Alicia becomes paranoid to, towards the very end of her husband's life. Like she thinks that there's somebody trying to like stalk her. She thinks that there's somebody following her. She, she swears she sees people. And her husband is like, honey, no, there's no one there. So um, he like, she tried to, she went to the doctor like under the table um, and he tried to, you know, give her, you know, some like leeway of like, hey, you're okay. You know, cause she was tend to like panic. Uh, we learned that her art gallery guy was like in love with her. Um, even though she did not return the gesture, she like still trusted him. And that was like her best friend, like more than anything in the world. And we also learned that her neighbor and her became really close friends. Um, and she would tell her neighbor things that she didn't want her husband to know. Um, but overall, like as we learned about her backstory, she seems like she was extremely sketchy. Like she seems like a sketchy person. Um, so she finally opens up to Leo. He like gets her to paint a little bit and then he finally like gets her to start talking. Um, by basically just sitting in a room and just staring at her until she like says anything. Um, and she doesn't talk a lot at once. She talks like a few words here, a few words there. And then one day she just like starts talking. And the first time that she did it and the second time she did it, like nobody believed him. Everyone was like, oh yeah, she talked to you. And he was like, yeah, she talked to me. And like nobody believed him because she was like silent patient. 
Um, so she tells him first off the bat that she did not kill her husband and that she was being stalked and that the man that killed him, like there was, it was a guy that killed him, uh, was the guy that was following her and stalking her. And he was like, okay. So he like kind of brushes these off because it's like her paranoia speaking because like it was confirmed that like she was not being followed. Like there were police reports that said she wasn't being followed. There were police reports that said all this stuff. Um, so T Theo goes to the head of the department and basically says that like, she's lying like she she says like i didn't kill him but he's like i don't believe her she's lying to cover her ass um the next day she attempts to take her life which is really dark and sad um and then she gets set into like a coma where we later learned she was not trying to commit suicide but she was actually an attempted murder which when we find this out like a part of me is like, wow, like who wants this girl dead so bad? I have never met somebody in my life where I'm like, that person needs to die. And like, I feel like this entire book, I was like kind of questioning, like who was trying to murder her? Like who killed her husband? If she didn't do it, why was she set up? But also then there was a point of like, she was paranoid about everything. So like nothing that she said was like, you can't rely on her. She wasn't a, a reliable narrator for the book. Um, which is great. But then uh, you, he, 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 LOL. Uh, we end up fast forwarding um, and we read like her journal uh, that she wrote in like right before she died because she ends up dying. Um, and she states that the man following her, um, there was a man following her and he did not kill her husband. He made her husband choose between himself and her. And when he chose himself, the man left and she ended up pulling the trigger. So basically this guy came in and um, the way that the book describes it is he came in and like she was like, oh my God, someone's in the house. Her husband was like tied to a chair um, and she was like tied in like another room. And basically this guy was like, hey, I'm gonna kill you or your wife. And I guess the husband was like, kill my wife, kill my wife, do it. And then the guy was like, hmm, untied her, handed her the gun, gave her a kiss on the head and was like, deuces, peace out, home skillet. And um, that's when she was like, you were, you wanted to get rid of me. And obviously the husband's like, no, baby, no. But at that point, there's not really much coming back from it. Like you literally said kill her. So when she pulled the trigger, like, karma's a bitch. Um, we also learned that Theo, you know, he, he, he gets more into his wife's lover. Um, he ends up following this guy around town and he ends up stalking this man um and then he realizes the man that is you know having an affair with his wife is also married so he starts stalking this man's wife like he's following her he's standing like in the tree line of her house he's like trying to like find her like you know whenever she goes out somewhere he follows her um and he's trying to like he gets like really angry about it because the relationship between this guy and like his wife was like super like the wife didn't know and like he it, he wasn't mad that she didn't know he was mad that like how could you not notice like these signs that your husband was cheating on you um so the book ends with the police showing up at theo's house to discuss Al alicia and the journal that she gave um the out art gallery guy so she had a journal that she kept um and after she passed away like people could not find it um like the only like the narrator tells us about it um you know tells us about the book but in the time like theo and like the doctors none of them can find it they don't know what happened to it turns out she actually put it in a painting or something that was given to um the art gallery guy because even though they were not in a romantic relationship he like they were in love like he loved her and she loved him as a friend like not like a platonic love um it was romantic on one side but not not her side and um basically is like talking about you know hey listen bestie so this is what's going on and the book ends with him smiling out the window and then it just cuts off so it basically doesn't give you an ending but it it gives you an ending um so for those that got lost in translation because savannah started talking um alicia being stalked the guy that killed her husband was the guy stalking her. Theo found out his wife was having a love affair and started stalking that guy's wife.
or the dots connecting. Basically, Theo, you know, that's the reason she talked to him was because she recognized him once all her drugs wore off and she was no longer under, you know, sedatives. Um, this book, I liked it a lot and it flowed together and it made a lot of sense and it made me really happy and it creeped me out and I love creepy books like this. Um, I heard that this is his best book. I did get, uh, what is it? The other one, maybe, there's another one that he wrote. Hmm. Okay. Oh, The Maidens. The Maidens he wrote. I heard that one wasn't as good as this one. Um, but for me, this one. <sighs> Let's do it. Let's send it. Let's go five out of five for the first book back. You know, I, I think that this book was so well written. Um, I didn't see it coming. I thought like maybe he was the patient or she wasn't real or something. I never thought that he was like stalking and you know, all that other stuff. I really like this book a lot. Um, it was, it just moved real nice. I sat by the pool and I read it in like three hours. Like this was just such like a good, like simple read. Um, but yeah, that's it. Silent Patient. Ah, five out of five. First book back. I'm so happy. Um, so now stopping on the book front. Um, of course, my Goodreads will be updated after this as well. But I wanted to say that I took some time off to read. Um, and I read a lot. I've, I've read a lot. Uh, my, my head hurts from <laughs> reading so much. Um, so I actually have decided to like restart a lot of the series that I have like read in my, my life. So I'm currently like rereading the Maze Runner series, Divergent, Twilight, stuff like that, because I've read them in the past, but I didn't like actually annotate them and like, you know, write stuff down about it. And the ADHD in my mind wants me to do that. Um, and so I've just, been doing that a lot uh so a lot of times i'm not filming videos it's because i'm just reading um as you can tell up on the top i have all these books that i've read have annotated and i just need to like sit down and make a video for um so my goal is to do all of these probably today and tomorrow because i don't work these two next two days which is so nice um and then can finish i'm i think i'm gonna finish the maze runner today um, i'm gonna try to get through half of scorch trials and then you know go from there so it's, it's gonna be very like you know fast paced things but i really want to get back into making videos because it makes me really happy and stuff i've just been so busy i'm just i've been i've been a busy girl just been doing stuff you know out here um another thing i did was i got book mail um i I'm waiting because I have a couple more things coming, but um, I, yeah, I have book mail. So I, yep. Um, so I'm gonna do a whole video about like me opening like the book mail. Um, some of it I know, like some of it's like stuff that I've bought, you know, um, things that, some things were just sent to me. Um, some things are like new, you know, authors and stuff like that. So I'm very excited. Um, but yeah, I wanted to go ahead and put that out there. So that's going to be coming as well. So make sure you follow. Um, I'm also more active on my Instagram recently. My TikTok is not, but my Instagram is a lot more active recently. So please make sure you follow me on Instagram. Um, also follow my Goodreads. My Goodreads will always tell you what books, like videos are coming because I have them in my uh, currently reading and then I go ahead and I post them right after I film a video so before the video goes up I already have like I already have this like posted um but yeah thank you so much for watching I'm so excited to be back and better than ever and until next time bye Yay.